Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Walking Dead Episode 4 of Season 2. Um, it was good. Uh, last week was better. Um, this is kind of the beginning of a new set of storylines because, you know, the main problem from the beginning of the season was that Carl got shot, they needed medicine for him, um, there's an introduction to these people at the farm, that's all done with, um, we've kind of been set in stone what, what's going on with our characters now, um, so things are moving... Uh, things have to kind of like regroup and then, you know, a new storyline has to kind of move forward um, while they're still looking for um, the girl's name, Carol's daughter, Sophia. Um, yeah, so basically that's kind of what's going on. Um, and again, people were really complaining that this season's moving too slow. I gotta say, um, your attention span's a problem, not the show. Um, also a problem is that I think most, uh, zombie stories are resolved in two hours. Um, you know, it's a two-hour zombie movie. This show, this second season is kind of reminding me of how people felt during, like, season two of Lost, where you go down there, you open the hatch, and you think it's going to provide all the answers to everything, or all the resolution to everything, and instead it just opens everything up, and there's, like, no ending in sight. Um... That's what's going on here, I think, because there's just no end in sight. There's no end game going on here. It's just a day-to-day -day survival. Um, depressing survival. That's what it is. That's what this show is going to be now, that it's going to be, you know, 12, 13-episode seasons. It's not going to move at a brisk pace. Um, I mean, as we get toward the end of the season, I'm sure it's going to have kind of like a, you know, a push toward a season finale kind of feel. But otherwise, you know, this is what we're getting. Um, and if you're not, like, alright with that, I, you know, you're watching the wrong show. Um, you know, I guess... I mean, we did get a, a, a bloated, you know, disgusting zombie rip in half. Uh, which, you know, filled the quota. At least I thought it did. Um, but, uh... Eh. Anyway, on to the episode. Um, Rick didn't really do a ton... This episode was just really established that they're gonna either have to move on or not move on after um, uh, after Carl gets better. Um, and he said, "Yeah, my people are gonna do whatever you ask." You know, he's lost a lot of blood, so he probably shouldn't have said that. But we'll let that go. Um, the you gotta wonder they they had the the zombie in the um, in the well, the bloated zombie. That they send poor Glenn down. Finally, giving Glenn a couple of things, a couple of really big moments this episode. Um, first of all, you got to wonder about if they've been drinking from that well. You know, stuff had to have been infected, or should have been. But whatever. Uh, that was great makeup. Fantastic makeup. The makeup on the show is always great. Always been great. It deserves to get mentioned again and again. It's that good. Um, and it was absolutely disgusting. And I really, you know, again, the show, when Glenn was getting lowered down there, you knew something was going to happen. And you, you do, you get worried for everybody. Uh, which is a strength, a real strength for the show. Um, Shane is looking really different with the bald head and the overalls that are really way too baggy for him. And he just looks completely lost. Um... He's not okay with himself, and I don't know what's going to make him okay with himself. Uh, he's kind of latching on to Lori, too, a little bit. Um, and that's not good for Lori, and that's just not good in general. At all. Um, at all. Uh, he did help Andrea a little bit, who's starting to mellow out, uh, which is nice. She's going to, I'm sure, forgive Dale completely uh, by the end of the season, if they're both still alive. Um, it's gonna take like a, a it's gonna be a progress for that to happen, but that's okay. Uh, T Dog again kind of redeemed himself a little bit, basically saying, you know, I didn't mean to say what I said. It was a moment of like weakness, kind of thing or whatever. So that's cool. That's good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. All right, well, Glenn goes in town and has sex with the hot, you know, farmer girl, farmer's daughter kind of girl. Um, one. They should at least shut the door. 
Uh, my computer just completely shut off on me. They should have shut the door. Uh, uh, you know, just in case they maybe would have heard a zombie banging on the glass. No pun intended with the... I forget it. Um, but, anyway. Also, AMC and America. So it's okay to see a zombie get just ripped in half. Guts everywhere. How about showing a little bit of leg? I'm not asking for, you know, a nipple. I'm not asking for, you know, like an ass shot. I understand. You know. It's channel 54. Or 754 if you have HD. Yeah. A little bit of leg. A little bit of, you know, upper thigh or something would have been nice. You can see the upper thigh of the, you know, bloated disgusting. Stupid. Anyway. Um... That's another storyline that's going to be progressing, Glenn, and I guess, uh, I don't even know her name. I probably should know her name, I don't know her name. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and with the idea of the group being separated, that creates, you know, some sense of there being some drama there, uh, which is good. Uh, what else have we got? Daryl continued being awesome, um, had a really, you know acted like a dick when Rick was talking about him needing help uh, but we know by now it's just like a front Daryl is completely the you know like the Sawyer character of this series completely um, but he had a great and I like how uh, Carol was just not hearing it from Andrea or or or, um, or uh, Shane about like oh you know Sophia's okay she's gonna be okay she's like I don't want to hear it anymore but Daryl was able to calm her with a story. Because um, it was a good story. And uh, really well done. Really well done. And that's the kind of stuff that I tune into this show for. I tune into that and I tune into it. Uh, yeah, I tune into it for the, the bloated zombie thing. Uh, but I expect both of those. And I expect both of those things to be quality. To be well done. And they both were. And that's what this show is. That's what this show is going to do. Um, it's not going to be one or the other. It's going to be both. Maybe some weeks it's going to be more than the other, but, you know, it's going to be a mix of that from now on. So, you know, too bad if you don't like it. Because uh, we already got season three. Uh, AMC, and it's not going to be any different next year. You now it's going to be another 13, 12 episodes. So, what's going to be? Um, the end of the episode, Lori is pregnant. We kind of figured that out last year. That was probably what we were. Well, we everyone at least speculated that's what Jenna whispered into Rick's ear that Lori was pregnant. Um, even if that wasn't the case, or that's not the case, we know that she is pregnant. Um, actually, it'd be kind of cool if that wasn't what he whispered. So it was kind of like, like, yeah, we got it. Yeah, she's pregnant. We saw that coming, but we didn't see what he whispered. You know. But anyway, we'll see. We don't know if the baby Shane's or Rick's. More drama. Also, the idea of her being pregnant, that's just brutal. That's brutal. You know, what do you do? You know, uh... You know. I mean, you know, a zombie show is going to be working in the abortion angle coming up. You know? It's going to be talking about that. What do you do? Uh... You know, so, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we're going to get coming up. At least I'm expecting that's what we're going to get. Um, if these guys are going to, you know, if, if they're going to discuss whether Carl should die, a ten-year-old, they're kind of probably going to discuss if, you know, the A-word. So, whatever, we'll see. Uh, good episode, not as good as last week. Um, but still good. Like I said, things are now going to have to pick up a little bit again. Um, oh, AMC, you screwed up. Preview for next week, showing Merle. Screwed up for two reasons. One, when Merle does show up next week, the shock and surprise of seeing him is not going to be there. And two, if him showing up is in a flashback, not in, you know, like him showing up the five, it's just going to be like a flashback. That means that not only will, will we not be surprised but will be disappointed because of the preview. So great, great job, AMC. 
great job. You are stupid. Stupid. And your Western show sucks. Except for the Irish guy. Whoever the Irish guy is, the uh, whatever. Okay, that's it. Uh, see you guys next week. Later. <laughs>